Hello everyone, this is our 2022 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara with 12,494 miles. Excellent condition, lots of aftermarket upgrades as you can plainly see. 17 inch wheels on 38 inch tires, aftermarket front bumper, um, fender liners, two and a half inch lift. We've got aftermarket LED um, headlights and taillights, rough country winch. Uh, there's seriously like so many mods on this to go over steering stabilizer Please just check out the sales listing on our website Every single modification and factory option is listed on there So if you really want to know what's in this Jeep and exactly what's been done to it, please check out the sales listing um, It's honestly just too much for me to talk about um, The purpose of this video is to go over the exterior and interior cosmetic condition For those of you who are out of state and can't come see the vehicle in person this way you can see what condition the vehicle's in so you don't have to fly out here and look for yourself. Hopefully I can be your eyes for you. So looking at the front here, um, front grille is in excellent condition. No rock chips, no damage or anything. Front bumper looks great as it should. Very low mileage on this Jeep. Everything's in really, really good shape. Hood looks awesome. No chips on the fenders or anything like that. All the powder coat on the front end looks really good. No chips, scratches, scuffs, or anything on the front. Uh, front driver's side fender area. What well, little area it has uh, looks great. No chips or issues with anything. Front driver's side wheel. Some Rock Tricks 17 inch wheels, bead locks. Look great. Some Milestar Patagonia 38 inch tires. Driver's side mirror. No issues. Driver door on the front side here. Looks great. Rear driver door. Looks excellent. Do apologize about that. A little bit of water dripped while I was taking photos. Didn't notice it. Um, but that's just water spots that can be wiped off. Um, driver's side rear corner panel. No flaws. As you can see, everything is nice and shiny. You can see my reflection perfectly. Um, rear driver's side wheel looks great. No flaws. Moving around to the back. Aftermarket Oracle LED taillights. Very nice. Aftermarket back bumper. Magic spare. <laughs> and as you can see, there's no flaws with any of this. No scratches, scuffs, no damage on any part of it. The, the Jeep honestly looks brand new. Passenger rear quarter. No flaws, no marks on any part. Rear passenger wheel. Looks brand new. Definitely not gonna find rash on there with that wheel setup, that's for sure. Uh, rear passenger door looks great. Sorry about the wind, just picked up out of nowhere as it does in Oklahoma. Front passenger door, perfect. Front passenger fender, perfect. I mean, there's just no issues anywhere on this Jeep. It looks brand new, I'm serious. It's in fantastic condition. Go ahead and walk around the vehicle from a one foot distance to give you a better big picture idea of the overall condition of the vehicle. Here at Exotic Motorsports, we'll have to do these comprehensive walk around videos to give our out of state buyers the confidence and peace of mind they need to purchase a vehicle from us, sight unseen, if they choose to do so. Walking around a vehicle from a one foot distance is a lot more indicative of what you might notice on a day to day basis if you're on the vehicle yourself. It helps to separate the larger, more obvious flaws from the smaller, less significant ones, helping to give you a more accurate representation of the overall condition of the vehicle. Hopefully I've done that and you can see how nice and well taken care of this Wrangler is. It looks awesome. Uh, quickly just walk around it from a wider point of view so you can see what it might look like if you were to purchase this and have it waiting for you in your garage or on your driveway. I love the modifications on this Jeep. I think it's definitely done right. It kind of lives up to the Jeep spirit of things. Very tasteful modifications. And I will say it runs and drives like stock. Um, the tires don't make the steering difficult or anything like that. It's not floating all over the road. Um, it drives great. This is something that you could daily drive, honestly. And with the four-cylinder turbo, you're not going to get the awful fuel economy that the V6 gets. It's just uh, it's, it's a great setup, honestly, um, especially with the ASP transmission in it as well. Partial leather interior, power locks, power mirrors. You do have manual seats, but they are leather and heated, so do not worry. <laughs> it does have a factory uh, Alpine subwoofer in the trunk, toilet sensing headlights, I'm sorry, trunk in the back hatch. It's not a sedan. Uh, Jeep all weather floor mats, of course. It doesn't have any kind of side steps or anything, so you do kind of have to, 
you know, hoist yourself up into it, but it's not too bad. You know, I just managed to do that pretty effortlessly with one hand, so it's really not terrible. Um, push button start, fires right up. And we've got media controls, uh, Bluetooth on the left, cruise control on the right, wipers, signal, gauge cluster here, no warning lights, no issues, does have TPMS, 12,494 miles. We've got climate control options. It is hot out, thank you. And here's our heated seats, heated steering wheel, backup camera, all that good stuff. And it does have navigation as well. Works well, very intuitive. You've also got uh, manual buttons for your climate control, heated seats, heated wheel, all that stuff. You've got auto start, stop, toggle, traction control, hill descent control. You can shut off the screen if you like as well. Lots of different media inputs. Three and a half mil auxiliary, USB type C, type A. One touch front windows. Um, all four power though. Your four wheel drive selection, your shifter essentially. Cup holders. Low profile dash. Auto dimming rear view mirror. SOS button. Universal garage door remote. Uh, it's got a lot of features um, for, you know, being a Jeep, but that's great. You know that I love that Jeep has really diversified. They've changed their powertrains, got away from the slush box, five speed transmissions, started giving people options with, you know, the six, four Hemi, uh, four cylinder, uh, the eco diesel. And Jeeps are really starting to kind of diversify their options for their consumer base. And I think that's great. You know, you're not just stuck with the V6 and manual cloth seats anymore you actually get some nice stuff um so here in the back i'm pretty comfy i'd say there's a fair amount of room you know it's not like a half ton <coughs> pickup or anything like a full-size truck uh, but there, there's a fair amount of room i have the front driver's seat adjusted to my driving preference i'm 6'1 200 pounds my knees are just barely ever so slightly resting on the back of the seat but i will say i'm comfortable got rear window controls back here 115 volt plug as well as usb ports right here under the cover type a and type c pretty awesome uh two-piece vinyl floor mat in the back help keep everything clean and as i mentioned some over there and you can actually kind of hold on to the tire and help yourself out <laughs> kind of convenient there with the uh, aggressive tire poke no hood latch uh, well, at least not in the traditional sense. You do have these. So those just come off like that. Pretty easy. One on each side. Just pop this up, slide the latch over. And then you've got that latch up there. I'll just hold it up for now. Um, but yeah, here's the two liter turbocharged four cylinder. Runs nice and smooth. Uh, it doesn't have a problem pushing these 38s. It still runs and drives great. You know, it doesn't have to rev to the moon to make any kind of torque to get the jeep to accelerate which is awesome you know it's it's not great when you have to rev out to like 5,000 rpm just to get it to move it feels kind of undrivable at that point um, but it handles between the the powertrain with the engine and the transmission it handles handles the lift the tires and everything very gracefully it drives great like i said very stable uh it doesn't track all over the road this thing has definitely been modified very intentionally with um street driving in mind so you get a pretty awesome off-road build, but still maintaining all the comfort from a stock Jeep. So that is our 2022 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara. If you have any further questions, please feel free to check out this vehicle on our website at exoticmotorsportsok.com. Thank you for watching.